Hi there, this is gonna be a general love reading for the sign of Virgo. Hi Virgos, this is gonna be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Virgos. Hi Virgos, thank you for your patience. You guys are not last, Capricorn is, and that is not on purpose. I have a Capricorn moon, honey. It's not on purpose, but it's just the way it ends up being, you know, when your messages are ready to come out. And for some reason, Virgo, your messages are now. Let's get started. Let me move this out of the way. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Cross Watcher of the Virgo. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Bear in mind that this doesn't always have to be an ex or an actual person. Sometimes it's just clearing out the old energy. Okay, so the purging, making room. This can also be like literal too, right? You're Virgo, so you guys are about in the details so if you i mean virgos let's just be real have a higher percentage of ocd because you guys walk into a room or your kitchen and when things are out of place you don't like that it bothers you so you guys are going to go in there and you're going to clean it or fix it so you guys are always on clutter patrol you can't just have a clean house you also have to have a clean you know some of you guys got to get rid of some shit and it may not be in your house or for some of you it is please take it as it resonates there is some decluttering that is needed or necessary here you also have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and i find this card to be gorgeous for you guys because i really really do think that it's it's to you guys it feels like it's a long time coming do you know what i mean i feel like you guys are gonna say oh it's about time but i think it's because you're ready <laughs> Wow, first card is the Ace of Wands. This passionate, huge new beginning. So whether this is starting your new business, starting a job that you absolutely love, that you've been waiting for your whole life, meeting someone that brings out this extreme passion. Some of you, it's an actual reconciliation because at the top of this wand, you see that big, huge ruby. And rubies are the stones of reconciliation and passion. So it could just be this, that's why I said passionate thing, whether it's a job or a person, okay? It's something that just makes you feel <sighs> alive. It makes you feel electric. You feel it in your groins. Knight of Wands. Could be a younger fire sign, Knight of Wands. But it also can be very tricky because some of you might be meeting people that it is just a one night stand. Especially with the Ace of Wands being the first card, sexual encounters, right? Sex, passionate encounters. Be careful. When it rains, it pours. We attract all walks of life. If you encounter someone that maybe it's your ex that wants to come back, hit it one last time. Closure. I don't know how it works. It's over. Look at that. Ten of Swords. If someone keeps trying to come back and you know damn well that they don't deserve to be back, Maybe they just want to have privileges and access to you and not give an actual, you know, give as far as a relationship goes. It's over. The Ten of Swords means that the worst is here. It's happened. Also, for some of you, though, it's 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 hurting your own self. It's whether, take it as it resonates. The hurting your own self. It's Five of Swords is self-sabotage, but this feels like it too. It feels like I'm just kind of laying here and I'm marinating in the hurt. The lovers. Oh. That red string of fate. I just saw that in my head for you guys. Red string of fate. You guys have never heard the story of red string of fate? Go Google it. Different cultures, yeah, they talk about the different versions of it. The Chinese have a version of it. The red string of fate is said to be this invisible tie that two people have that are destined to be together. And no matter how far they may wander, they are still bound together. See that red string on their forearms? Hand fasting ritual or the red string of fate? I don't know. I, I feel like there was no room for this person to come in. Remember we talked about the decluttering? There was just no room. That reconciliation could be someone from a past life that you just never met before. Nine of Swords, fears, total Virgo energy, right? Overthinking it, fears, worries, anxiety. But you got to stand 
like this. You've got to just stand in your divine feminine power. You have just got to own your shit. Literally. Calls in the emperor. Some of you need to take on that emperor energy, even if you're female. Emperor is that shot caller, right? He is God of War. He is strategic. He's experienced. But he also is very much about control. This Queen of Wands, though, she's... And look at what she's holding. She's holding the wand. She has all of the power. She's she's holding that. It's like it's your move. You know, like if you're playing chess, it's your move. That's what this feels like. But it also has this very strong thing about Red String of Fate. I was on YouTube watching videos a couple of nights ago. And it randomly came up in my suggested the Red String of Fate. And I've heard the story many times. You guys know I've talked about it many times. But for the for the universe to show it to me again recently, it was like, okay. Look what fell on top of the lovers. <sighs> Your reading's gonna be quite fucking short. I just The Two of Cups on top of the lovers. So an extremely passionate sexually charged connection extreme chemistry the red string of fates involved here so you feel almost bound some of you will resonate more with hand fasting energy take it as it resonates this is not you making an excuse to stay connected to it and exits karmic and needs to go no this is not karmic but it doesn't mean that karmic people won't come in. We're going to track everybody, right? When you shine, you shine, honey, okay? But this is love. <sighs> Virgos. The future. Virgos can see the future. Highly intuitive. You guys are high priestess energy, right? my goodness I feel jittery and nervous like I feel like <sighs> what does the future hold my god it's just this excitement your future can only come when we release the old it's so fucking symbolic releasing the old allows the future and the new to come in Remember I said earlier it felt like it didn't, you, there was no room. There was no room for things that are meant for you to come in. The decluttering. Jesus Christ, you can't make it up. What does the future hold? Ask for help. A lot of people are getting this card, even in personal readings that I'm doing. Ask for help. Your angels are always on standby, but they cannot just interfere. You have to ask for help because we've been gifted with free will, right? So you can't just like sit there helpless and say no one's helping you. Number one, you've got to help your damn self. And number two, if you want help, call in the angels. You have to ask them to help. So is you reaching out to a friend, reaching out to get a reading, you know, whatever this is, help. Meaning if you need physical, like medical attention, if you need emotional or, you know, this kind of help. Remember, we need to be balanced. Body, mind, soul. Body, mind, soul. Virgos are overthinkers, you know? You guys have that anxiety too and the OCD thing too. A lot of you may need to seek outside help from a professional to help you. Maybe you need some type of medication. I don't know what this is, whether it's a physical issue, an ailment, or it's something more of, you know, the mental part of the thinking in the head and, and that part. I don't know what this is, but I urge you, do not feel embarrassed if you feel that you need to ask someone for help. Never be afraid. This is me telling you do not be afraid if you want to go to the doctor's doctor something feels weird i don't know what it is maybe i'm overreacting but i just want to get this checked out you know what i've been having weird thoughts i just want to go and talk to somebody about this therapist whatever it is 
do not be afraid. That's about us standing in our power. It's to be self-aware. That's power. To not live in denial. That's that Queen of Wands energy. I, I say it time and time again that us in our raw divine feminine power is the Queen of Wands energy. You also have awareness. And as I'm going off about it and talking about being self-aware, there it is. It's being aware of my environment. It's being aware of my thoughts, being aware of my feelings, being aware of my body. Tap into that high priestess energy. I feel like I've just got to like that for you guys. All right, we're going to do another set of oracles and then you guys are done. Like literally, I feel like you guys were done a while ago when I pulled the two of cups on top of the lovers. Actually, I'm going to do the moonology for you guys too. Manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper. Manifestation, step one. So some of you guys are heavy and deep into manifesting something. It's been a long time coming, I think, for some of you also. All right, we're going to do the moonology, and then you guys are definitely done. It was 11.11 when I just looked up at the timer. New beginnings. Connection to the universe. Being, like they said, aware. Your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn oh wouldn't you know it's time to release negative it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio you have two cards indicating release old shit and i think that that is going to seal the deal here for your reading i want to thank you all for your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi and if you have tiktok that's my same handle there follow me um if you want to book a reading you guys know the drill Please look at the description box below of all of my YouTube videos and see what you want first. Please put it in the title of the email what it is that you want and then email me and put it in the title of the email so I know what to invoice you, okay? All right, Virgos, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of this month and I'll see you guys very soon when I do August readings, okay? Love you guys. Bye.